friends, it's Dwight. I'm back here in my studio getting ready to do another pour on this large 30 by 40 canvas. As you can see, I scraped the previous pour and, you know, I haven't scraped a canvas in quite a long time, so I was pretty frustrated. I didn't wait for it to um, finish um, reacting to um, the pour because I had a lot of like blotches in here. So I just decided to scrape it and I had a sort of a neutral palette and I've been struggling with those recently. So I'm doing a colorful palette as you can see here. Now this is phthalo blue with a little bit of white in it. Um, and this is um, a blue with also some white. And this is a, like a peacock pearl, added a little bit of blue, a little bit of white. Now this is interesting. It looks sort of a peachy color, but it's called champagne. So we'll, we'll see how that works. Uh, rose gold, scarlet red, and white. This is Larislav soft body white. Now, all of these colors are from, um, let's see here, this brand got the deal, I think. Artist grade, except this is pearl white, but there's no pearl white in this pour. I use Artist Loft white to lighten some of these colors up. So I'm gonna do a colander pour um, and we shall see how that works. I have plenty of plenty of paint. I got like 56 ounces of paint here, which is way more than I need, but, um, Remember, this is a large canvas. I'm gonna be tilting off corners, edges, you know, and sides. So um, even though I have this mixed up here, this Artist Loft Soft Body Black, uh, you gotta remember there's gonna be paint underneath that. So it's all gonna go off the sides. So hopefully I don't have too much paint on the canvas and I'm gonna check the final consistencies. We'll get started here in just a moment. I just wanna say, I'm not quite sure the order I'm gonna start with yet. I might put this champagne with the dark blue on the bottom, maybe a little bit of red and then white and layer from there. We'll see. Okay, guys, hold on.
Hey friends, I came back in the room and I first thing I said to myself, let's see what kind of disaster we have here. But oh my Jesus, oh, excuse my language. Oh my gosh, as I trip. Um, I, you know, cut off the overhead light here. It's really kind of cool. I was so surprised. Those paints, those gotta deal paints, they're perfection. They work really well in doing this dump and swirl. Now, I have to admit, I did add some, a little bit of white. Artist Loft Soft Body White is what some of you like to call a cell activator. Um, I, I guess, you know, when it's thinned or mixed with other paints, sometimes it really explodes. Now you don't see a lot of white in here. You see it mixed in, but it looks like the blue took over. You don't see a whole lot of the, um, that red and that champagne and that gold. When I first walked away, I was thinking this was going to be very light and very, uh, I don't know, different. But I, you know, the movement's pretty awesome. Let me show you the perpendicular, the horizontal way. Not quite symmetrical. I wish there was more on this side. But you know, there's really nothing that needs to be done to this. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to use these paints more often. They work super well, and um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. So I'm pretty sure it's going to dry. I usually have concerns around here with cells sort of um, getting pushed into the, the negative space so they get really elongated, but these cells look nice, perfect, symmetrical. Uh, I don't think there's a problem with any of those. So I'm really happy, and um, I will let this sit overnight um, and I will show you the dried results in just a second. Okay guys, good morning. This is the door to my studio. About ready to go in, see how my painting dried yesterday. Be first look. Awesome. Cool. Let's see if I turn the overhead lights on. Yay. Wow, dried nicely. I think it's dry. Yeah, it looks like it's dry. I'm not gonna mess with it though. Yeah, I mean, I was mentioning yesterday about these pearls that um, that paint brand creates. This looks exactly as it did when it was wet, except of course it's not as shiny. Um, I think a nice coat of varnish will really brighten it up. And I don't know, I just popped in my head. I said, what if I try to use resin? I've never used resin before, so if you guys have any idea what's the easiest... Um, resin to use and or how to use it. I guess you just pour it over and smooth it out and pop the bubbles and let it dry. So let me show you the negative space because sometimes if you've seen my videos, you see how I have gone in and cleaned up the negative space. Um, this is this is great. Um, I'm not going to even dot these because the cells are nice and round. Um, I'm probably going to leave it as is. Yeah, because I don't, I don't want to ruin the color. I mean, I'm looking at these right here, but I'm just going to let them go because I think that's what needs to happen. So, yeah. I mean, you know, it, when you see some people's pearl pores or you see swipes or you see um, the other ones, I forgot what they're called, when people, blooms, I guess, when they spin them around, you know, the cells are a lot different looking. I'm not going for that effect. You know, I'm just going to create a piece of art has some design to it, has some competi not competition, some composition and some color. And this was a little bit more dramatic than I expected, but I'm very happy with it. Um, I am going to, I'm gonna step on some wet paint there. I'm gonna orient it this way because I have sort of this darker area down here. It sort of grounds it. Um, if I'm on this side, I have all this open space. So you know how some of my paintings look. Um, with my negative space. Here's one that's on the left side as well. So that's what I'm going to do. So guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, or you can email me at um, www, well, not www, but you can email me at dwightpores at yahoo.com. And I probably won't get to another one till this weekend, but I might go for another large size and use this paint and see what we can come up with. Okay, guys, have a great week.